my new and first ever channel sponsor has given me a box of golf clubs. How much exactly is in the box? Oh my. 50, 60, 110, 100. I have to be the only YouTube golf channel that will accept payment in the form of second hand golf clubs. And I love it. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we have acquired our first channel sponsor. I couldn't be more excited, and mainly because I got paid in full with second-hand equipment. If that doesn't complete the ethos of the channel, I don't know what will. Big box of golf clubs. Some expensive numbers in here, unique numbers in here. We're gonna get it all out. We're gonna look at estimated value, just like the Malesi video. We're gonna talk exactly what I've been paid um, uh, for the sponsorship to help obviously grow by equipment. But there is some interesting numbers in this box. And I'm very happy with the company and the person that I am working with as I do get quite a lot of offers. I can't go and get a club sponsorship. We all know that. We have to be very careful with the people that we work with and the gentlemen Ujel who's sponsoring the channel I've actually taught in the past I've actually bought and sold clubs off him in the past and when he messaged me offering me this deal for the sponsorship of the channel I couldn't turn him down it says it in the names trusty rusty that had a bit of zip I'd be happy with that wedge shot on my right handed game as you can tell all the gear is left handed and there's a few other unique features why these particular clubs might be a bit harder to sell on eBay or Facebook second hand hence why me and you Joe have had a bit of a partnership in the past but there's some expensive equipment in here but expense doesn't always mean good those two iron shots I've just played with these Acer irons graphite lovely lovely film we've now got a nice little unique number here I am a big fan of this bad boy if you have a lot of wrist action in your stroke it kind of takes it out of the way I'm not selling this thing because I doubt you'd be able to I haven't even looked what these would go for on eBay and I imagine they're quite scarce no idea where you just got this thing but that's very interesting I'm surprised the main manufacturers aren't making these putters this heavy right then which putter should I go with <laughs> and if you look at one of the labels here you might understand slightly why these apart from the dexterity why these might be a bit tougher to sell than others look even with a full bag built and all the putters pretty much taken out of the box we still got loads of stuff left to get through i really hope i don't snap this absolute beauty of a shaft in this TS1 driver head. If there's a hole to hit a good one down, it's this one. Let me tell you a bit more about you, Joe, and obviously the sponsor, Blackberry Cleaning, their corporate cleaning company. I'll show you a quick download of their website here around Hungford, Newbury, Swindon. And unlike a lot of other sponsorship opportunities I've had in the past where I'd have to jump over many hoops and hurdles, you, Joe, and Blackberry themselves just wanted to have a very discreet logo on a top. You, Joe, didn't even ask for this video to be made, but I actually like making it because I think it's actually worthwhile content, hence why I wanted to put it on the channel. If it's not worthwhile putting on the channel, then I don't really want it on there, even if I'm getting paid for it. They have many high tier clients such as Ferrari, Porsche and many other business dotted around Hungford, Newbury and Swindon. So happens to be in that position that you are in charge of the purse when it comes to the company cleaning. All I say is bear you gel in mind. I've got a feeling that's lost ball, but I'm not taking another shot with this thing. <laughs> I am getting all the luck today. Why can't this happen on my right hand again? More often than not, I am turning deals down. Just last month, I had a £500 and a £7 offer just for one video but the requirements and what I had to do in the video just wasn't necessarily worth it and for short-term gains of where I think the potential of this channel can be in three to five years is not for me personally worth the risk but when I have these kind of symbiotic deals with you gel local company good ethos plus I get a good decent video out of it because there's loads of second-hand golf clubs for me personally that makes more sense than just the money don't get me wrong anything in the five figures the channel is yours a lot of you guys with kids will know exactly how much nursery fees cost lucky dip time again small par four here on the woods at Sanford this is a nice little set but this will explain exactly why I've had some of this stuff you might have even seen some of this stuff on my eBay page for the last six months and I'll probably explain to you why these haven't gone because these aren't cheap bits of equipment 
I mean, just look at those. They are gleaming. Before we total up exactly the value that we have in all of the bags and boxes here, let me quickly explain why it might be a bit difficult to extract the value from a lot of this new shiny stuff. Now, if you're a lefty, you know the pain of trying to find secondhand clubs for a decent price. And when you find the one that you do like, there's hardly any supply, therefore, the seller pretty much gets to choose what you pay for it. However, if you want the money quickly, say you bought a set of irons and you just want to auction them off, get rid of them, they're gonna go for nothing. These things sell for a lot of money if you're patient and hardly anything if you're not. I actually, for a little experiment on the weekend, put these JPX 91s Ladies Flex, or Light Flex, I should say, the F1 recoils for 349 three to sand wedge plus a gap wedge six to six to sand wedge plus a gap wedge as well and not even a sniff why me and you Joe came to an agreement obviously i'd had some of these clubs for quite a while they weren't really going mainly because as well that you Joe has an inch inch and a half off a lot of his clubs as well so not only are they left-handed but they are a bit shorter than standard therefore the amount of people looking for them is going to be remarkably low oh my it actually looks a lot more now I've got it all out of the box and actually I have quite a bit of stuff at home as well which probably equates to 300 pounds something like that so I'll go through exactly what I think now quickly around the circle what we've got here in terms of value again a lot of these things here I'm probably gonna have to value just on heads only because even though we've got some nice shafts in here I mean someone will still want that even though it's slightly shorter but a lot of them have been cut down quite a bit that sadly a lot of these are going to need reshafting anyway TSI hybrid head only 50 60 110 driver 100 210 as wild as it is sadly not too much value in the regal wild thing we have a lovely little o works putter here that i didn't actually get out again today but again because it's been cut down trust putter here as well so again for these two putters probably about 60 something like that 270 altogether and then the trust putter again slightly cut down probably about 80 pounds something like that i'll probably do a total while they're in my head on the video itself these big fan of the heavy putter i've looked on ebay there's not many going about but i've seen them go for on golf clubs for cash 50 60 pounds you can get one of these 34 inches right-handed or left-handed depending on what dexterity highly recommend it 30 35 lovely little yes putter here as well again 30 pounds something like that and a nike putter that i've never seen before in my life i didn't even realize this was nike i mean this is a this is a custom job if i've ever seen one look at that these are all full length and even though i put these on ebay at 349 realistically i'm not going to let them go for anything less than 450 probably about 400 pounds something like that after ebay fees because they're just in too good condition and there will be a lady or junior left-handed that i want those in the future at some point these are the money right here and again i think i might get these all reshafted to be fair because i've got eight clubs t200s i mean these are only a year old and heads only i think these would be worth more with the shafts taken out because I can't plug those about an inch, inch and a half. That's just too much and they're more than likely weakened over time. So I'm probably going to get these pulled and reshafted into something like a Project X or something a bit more mainstream because yeah, they're just too, they're just worth too much money to potentially just let go as, as their current state, they probably would only go for about 400 pounds maybe 450 because I want to just reshaft them themselves. But lovely looking little set of irons and these worth absolutely nothing, but I have ripped these throughout the video. So I'm going to put these as priceless, even though someone would probably want them for about 30 pounds. My quick little mention to the wedges, big fan of this Cleveland here again, but because a lot of these have been cut down, Again, it's gonna be struggling to find a left-hander that wants them that short. Great for a left-handed junior. That's basically what a lot of these are for, but a big fan of the trusty rusty today. And yeah, quite like the Cleveland Smart Cell, especially as a beginner novice swing as my left-handed was. So just totaling it up in my head, just around the 2000 pound mark with the stuff that I have here, as well as the bits and bobs that I have at home. So firstly, thank you to you guys watching the channel. Otherwise, this kind of stuff wouldn't be possible. Thank you to you, Joe, and Blackberry Cleaning, as I'll be happy to wear your logo proudly over the next few months. Guys, if you did like this video, leave it a like, subscribe if you're new, and you might like this video up here on the left-hand side. See you later.